everybody. I've got a upper body workout for you today. Um, and you just need some light weights. If you don't have light weights, use those soup cans again um, or anything else that you can grab from home. Um, but I would recommend lighter weights because we do quite a few repetitions of each exercise. So um, we're starting with shoulders. Um, and I have this workout actually written out for you that I'll attach in the comments. So I'm gonna go through just the exercises so you know what they are and how to do them correctly. And then you can follow the plan. So we start with shoulders first. And the first exercise is front raises. So you grab your dumbbells. When I do front raises, I like to do one arm at a time. My arms are mostly straight, just a slight bend in the elbow, okay? So we do 15 of those, we go to 15 side raises. Again, just a little bit of bend in those elbows. And then from there, we go into some overhead presses. So we're doing 20 of these. So now you will be grateful for having those lighter weights once you get into the 15 and 20 repetitions. And then we go back to our side raises. We do 15 more of these and then we go back to the front raises and we do 15 more of these. So your shoulders will be burning by the time you're done with this. From there, we go right into biceps and we start with hammer curls. So hammer curls are when your palms are facing in and you can see the, um, the end of my um, dumbbell is facing the camera. So we get to do 20 of these followed by 15 regular curls. So my palms are facing out now. And then we go into 15 half curls. So we start at the top, we go halfway down, 15 of those. And then we do the other half. So we start low and we go to halfway up. We do another 15 of those, followed by 20 hammer curls. Triceps are next. We actually put our weights down and we start with some dips. So um, dips you can do on any chair that you have, any stairs, maybe kitchen table, couch, whatever you can find. Um, I've got a bench here. So dips are here, pointing my elbows back behind me. Notice my shoulders do not go lower than my elbows, okay? And you're gonna do 20 of those tricep dips. Um, kickbacks are next. So you're gonna, you can bend over and just stay in a hip hinge position or if you've got a bench or table, you can put your hand on that bench or table. You're gonna lift up, press the arm right into your ribs and push back and straighten that arm. So 15 of those on each arm, followed by 15 overhead extensions. So coming here, bringing the weight behind your head and pressing back up. So remember in triceps, you always wanna make sure you completely straighten the arm because that's what's gonna get that tricep is in the straightening part of the arm. Um, and then we go back to our 20 dips. So really burning those triceps out. And then we get to do a superset. So we do one exercise from each of those muscle groups. So we start with shoulder presses and we're doing 20 shoulder presses. We do 15 bicep curls and then we do 15 overhead extensions per arm, of course. And last but not least, we get to do 20 push-ups. So push-ups can be done. If you wanna do them standing against a wall, you can put your hands, like I'm gonna put my hands on the bench here or down on the floor. Bring your chest as close to either the floor or the bench as you can. Elbows come out wide. So that is our upper body workout. I hope you enjoy. If you want to add some cardio, do a little bit of Tabata in between each muscle group. Um, Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 
10 seconds of rest. So just a suggestion for that would be um, maybe jumping jacks. So 20 seconds jump, jumping jacks, 10 seconds rest, and you do that for eight rounds. Another suggestion would be squat jumps or burpees, something like that, if you wanna get in a little bit of cardio in with your strength. Thanks and have fun.